Moroccan fans have exploded in joy after their team reached the semi-finals of the FIFA World Cup. Israeli forces attack Palestinians, celebrating Morocco's historic win. Meanwhile, thousands of England fans get their hopes dashed as the three lines crash out of the showpiece tournament. And finally, Qatar is set to host a major Formula One sprint event in 2023. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Moroccans attending the FIFA World Cup or watching at home all exploded in joy as their national football team reached the semi-finals of the tournament for the very first time. Their joy has been equally shared by Africans and Arabs globally. And knocking out European heavyweights Portugal 1-0, Morocco became the first African nation to reach the final four, with previous African nations faltering at the quarter-final stage. Next up for Walid Agragi and his charges are defending champions France in what is said to be their biggest challenge yet. On that note, Palestinian fans in Jerusalem came came out in the thousands, celebrating Morocco's historic win, only to be attacked by unprovoked Israeli forces. Israeli occupation forces with some on horses assaulted Palestinians, including children. No arrests were reported. Now, England fans attending the World Cup in Qatar, who were hoping to bring it home, have had their hopes severely dashed. The three lines battle defending champions France in an instant classic at El Beit Stadium, but ultimately fell short 2-1, as captain Harry Kane missed his second penalty of the match, skying his effort well into the crisp other air. The exit sees England once again name a star-studded team but fail to capture any glory. And finally, the Qatar Motor and Motorcycle Federation has announced that Qatar will be hosting one of six Formula One sprint events for the 2023 season. The race will take place at Lucille Circuit from October 6th to October 8th, with the spring race qualifier taking place for the first time under Lucille's floodlights. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.